process for marketing. So the title is creating products and the pricing strategies to meet customers' needs. You know? uh, everybody have uh, needs. So first, I want to say to concept of need. So, first, wants. What's the meaning of wants? Want are desire for goods and service. Desire. Desire. Uh, we would like to have, but do not need. Want means do not need. Okay? But I want. For example, if you want some goods or, or toy because of your address. But do not need that. Hmm? Just this hot. This is what's okay. But on the other hand, uh, the needs means uh, a special kind of want. So want is a wide concept. And among the wants, I choose or designate is some area of needs. Okay? Also, needs refer to things we must have to survive. Such as food, water, shelter, something like that. So need is mandatory you need it. Just that you need, you have to eat, you have to wear, you have to go there, something. So you have to do something, it's delayed it need. But if you want desire, once is more wider concept. So you want everything, but you need very specified area. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so the, what is the difference between a needs and uh, wants? So the needs is something, it's not the need to survive, right? food, clothes, house, etc. And want is something, the individual desires, but would be able to live without. You don't need to that. This is what. And primary distinguished feature of need is that it is necessary to sustain life. Survive. Survive life. This is for needs. Okay? In the marketing area, is you are pushed to say to the customers many kinds of service or so good and services. So you have to find the customer wants it, this is the needs it, this is exactly distinguish the first step is the marketing. So okay. Look, the company here. Uh, this chapter title is creating products and pricing strategies to meet customers' need. Customers need very specified area, specified goods and services. So uh, how do company create sort of products? Products include the sort of good and services. Eh? So how to make the price strategy to meet the customer need? Eh? Right. So uh, also this chapter uh, running outcomes is ten. Learning outcomes, so I'll show you that. Uh, I read it this one. First, what is the marketing concept and the relationship building? So, the marketing is very uh, key uh, or major in the business administration. So, first, we want to know the marketing concept. So, Jung. Marketing concept and relationship building. So, and second uh, outcome is how do managers create a marketing strategy? The managers 
build up the marketing strategies. First, marketing uh, strategies uh, start the uh, marketing area, and then the strategies involve the other area, the so product strategy, price strategy, and then the human resources, the uh, internet strategy, IT strategy, something like that. So, uh, the strategy is to start the, the uh, business area. So, the, uh, how the managers create a marketing strategy is um, second uh, What is the marketing mix? Marketing mix is very important uh, uh, concept to marketing strategies. Eh? So, we review the marketing mix and how the consumers and the organizations uh, make buying decisions. So uh, the customers see the, uh, some product or uh, services and then how, uh, uh, so how to uh, consumers decide to buy decision making. So the process is a little bit uh, connected with the psychological. So see, recognize and keep in mind and recognize again and good uh, uh, reputation you have it and then next time you buy it. but some cases why not to buy but some cases keep in your mind and then later I will buy it. something like that this is buying this chain and number five what are the five favorite, uh, basic form of customer and business market segmentation the basic form, the five basic form of consumer. Consumer has some basic forms. Eh? And there are many kinds of approach in the basic forms of consumer, but this, this, this textbook is suggest five forms. Eh? Five forms. And also business marketing segmentation. Also, uh, the, uh, in the marketing, marketing mix, uh, decision. Uh, strategy and segmentation is very powerful tools in marketing, market segmentation. And next, what is a product and how is it classified? What is a product and how is it classified? So uh, what is the uh, product? And how do organizations create new products? The organizations mean this company company create new products. How? Why? How? And what are the stages of the product life cycle? Uh, 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 we have some creative the products or services. The product in the market is a big cycle. Uh, introduction and make environment. So in order to yeah. remember Life cycle here. Mm -hmm. increase, increase, and uh, top, and then decrease, decrease, and then in the, in the meantime, we have to uh, uh, another product, the most switch or more alternatives product, something like that. This is marketing area product, uh, area product researching. And uh, next is uh, what are the stages of product life cycle, and the next, what strategies are used for pricing products. And what are the future trends? This is for also marketing mix, segmentation, and uh, uh, price strategy. How can we, how do we make the price for service or product, do that services? Eh? And then is what trends are occurring in product and price? What is the new trend and fashion? In the future, yeah. so uh, what is the direction to the marketing area? And, uh, I believe we will give you that. So this is for uh, marketing uh, preference. Thing. Okay. So first chapter, also this chapter consists of ten verses. Eh? Marketing concern, marketing strategy, marketing mix, buyer behavior, marketing segmentation, product, what is the product, and the delivery value, product life cycle, pricing strategy, 
the feature trends and trends in developing the product and services in, in the market. Okay, we will study the, we will review the each chapter, chapter 11 to 1 versus the marketing concept. So, what is the marketing? What is marketing? Uh, before we say the yeah, marketing, we know it the exchange, exchange, exchange. Exchange means uh, exchanges are uh, marketplaces for the trade of securities, commodities, derivatives, derivatives, and other financial instruments. This is exchange. Okay. Exchange means marketplace for the trade of securities, commodities, commodities is production, and deliver uh, deliver uh, deliver uh, tips, deliver tips. Liberties, etc. So, and uh, other financial instrument is it for exchange. So, an exchange is a marketplace of where security, commodities, derivatives, and other financial instruments are trade. So, the core function of the exchange is to ensure fair and orderly trading, the efficient dissemination. Uh, Dissemination of price information for any securities trading on that exchange. So trade is exchange. So uh, before we mention the uh, marketing, before we know the uh, exchange concept. So exchange means it's the process in which two parties give something of value to each other to satisfy their respect needs. Two people, oh, I need to uh, rice, oh, I need to fish, so they are changing. Before uh, the uh, develop in the marketing, only we have uh, exchange. So some people know it, uh, make a fruit. No make a plant, it's a, a harvest a plant, take the plant. And, but he wants to know, or he wants to get a fish for food. In this case, they don't know if the food, uh, how to catch the fish. So get a fruit and uh, change the plant for fishing. So this is the uh, starting of the marketing. So the exchange means it's the process which two parties give something values in each other. And then they satisfy the respect needs. You need it, I need it, exchange. And then they are automatically developed in the marketing concept. The marketing concept means the process of discovering the needs and wants of potential buyers and customers, and then providing good and services meet or exceed their expectation. The customers expect something, something like goods and services. So marketing means is provide goods and services to meet or exceed. Exceed means is a, a push. So it's very difficult concept of exceed. The meet is okay. The customers want something. That's it, I give that. But exceed means is the customer don't need that, just one or some you know, luxury product. Customer don't need that, but the marketing needs to push by some special products or services. As you know, this is for example the luxury. It's a uh, marketing area you will have to study more, more deeply. The exceed means. So anyway, the marketing process of discovering the needs and wants of potential buyers and customers, prospective uh, buyers and customers, and then providing them. This is marketing. So marketing concept is to focusing on the needs and wants of customers so the organization can distinguish its products from Competitors operate. So, in the market, uh, competitors. So, how do they win a competition better than others? So, 
product can be good, services or ideas. So uh, product is invisible or visible or include goods and services and ideas or ideas. Also, marketing concept is related with integrating all of the organization's activities, including production and promotion. But to satisfy these wants and needs, there the customers wants to customers have wants and needs. So how to how to satisfy the product? This is. Also, marketing concept includes uh, achieving long-term goals for the organization by satisfying customers, customer wants and needs, legally and responsibly. The legally means is a little bit deep uh, concept. So anyway, this subject is an introduction uh, subject. So uh, later, if you have chance in marketing, is uh, you have to study more anyway. Is uh, eagerly and responsible, very uh, keyword for uh, marketing concern. Okay, so and then the we need to know the uh, uh, value. There are kind of values. Uh, basically, I studied uh, business administration about no, 30 years. So uh, I know the, uh, but I know also pursue the uh, trend in the business administration in history. So uh, my personal uh, idea was some uh, opinion what is the keyword for the future? I exactly say value. Value concept is very long time. Hmm? So added value, value, or some uh, product value. Last of that, we adjusted the, the value concept. So also in marketing area is to attach the value in the uh, Marketing. So, uh, customer value also. The ratio of benefits to the sacrifice necessary to obtain those benefits as determined by the customer reflects the willingness of the customers to actually buy your products. The value, uh, CBS and the, the concept the customer values. Uh, if you mention the customer values, you have to say the sacrifice. Sacrifice means is uh, a little bit different normal concept. Sacrifice means is uh, if you have uh, money in your uh, wallet, one hundred bucks, one hundred dollars, you have, uh, you have it. And uh, you are uh, sacrifice means is you have to pay. Like I want something good products, so I want to buy some books or hamburgers, any kind of uh, service or uh, goods. And then you have to sacrifice that, sacrifice the part money. So that meaning is sacrifice. So customer value is the ratio of benefits for, uh, to the sacrifice necessary to obtain those benefits. Those benefits means you are hungry. Now you are hungry and then I want to buy some hamburger. What is satisfied in your pocket? And uh, satisfy the customer needs is if I get in some hamburger, I am very full, okay. I'm very satisfied. This is for uh, benefit. So uh, this is uh, customer value. Uh, if we mention the customer value, so you collect their willingness to the customers 
to actually buy a product. So uh, the customer value delay the ratio concept. Ratio. So uh, why we say the ratio was sacrificed? Sacrifice. Sacrifice, for example, money and uh, hamburger. This is sacrifice money and you get a benefit and hamburger. So these two things related how rich. So money is $100. Hamburg is satisfied. Satisfaction, something. So 100 ratio relay to satisfy. So this is 100 bucks. But some customers think about, oh, this is too expensive. Some customers think of, oh, it's very uh, adequate, reasonable price, something like that. Okay? So in your pocket, at $100, equally satisfy some products. The so ratio is equal or the over or less than this ratio constant. This is all customer value. Okay? So customer value is always equal, not equal always. So that's the problem is uh, price strategy there. So sometimes same person and customers Satisfy or not, said man is, ah, oh, this is very cheap. But customers think about, ah, oh, this is very expensive. So, in this case, they break the deal. So, uh, in the marketing, it is sacrifice, sacrifice, satisfaction, and reach. And this is related by a customer value, okay? So, it's a, a keyword. The marketing and customer satisfaction uh, means is the customer's feeling that a product has met or exceeded expectation. Satisfaction, satisfaction, satisfaction. Satisfaction is all oh, okay. If I paid one hundred bucks, and then I'm very happy to sacrifice. I don't know satisfaction and uh, very good. I'm very full. I'm very. If I buy some test. That's the very big analogy here. Oh, yeah. I'm good. Well, I'm satisfied. Hmm? So, customer satisfaction is exceed or met. Hmm? Met is equal. Exceed is over. So, sometimes you buy some very cheap. Hmm? So, in this case, you are more satisfied. Hmm? This is for customer satisfaction. Anyway, the marketing concept is Q or three things. Final is customer value. Keyword is satisfaction, says a sacrifice, and ratio. This is for customer uh, satisfaction concept. Okay. And how do they are building a relationship? Relationship marketing is a strategy that focuses on on for, 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 forging long term partnerships with the customers by offering value and providing customer satisfaction. This is building satisfaction. Okay. So customer satisfaction. Okay. So uh, this concept is uh, uh, again explained by uh, Illustration. So first, I said uh, uh, what is the different need and wants. The definition is needed things are required to survive and uh, live adequate. On the other hand, the things ex excluding uh, the ones counted as need, it includes the things which one desired to possess. It. This is why wants is more wide, but need is less. Key terms need is necessary, necessity, want, want, desire. Okay. You can do it without that. This is what. 
Essential. Non essential is what? Common example food, housing, clothing, what's the thing? Buying expected clothes, no, eating out of the fancy, expensive restaurant, this is what? Situational example is a person feeling thirsty and need to drink water. Oh, water is very uh, essential product. So it's need. Once is a person feeling thirsty and wants to sip a banana shake. Oh, my friend, you just want to try it. This is what, okay? And the five marketing concept is product concept, product concept, uh, production concept, product concept, selling concept, marketing concept, associated marketing concept. The five concept is related to marketing. And uh, customer value, I say this again, customer value. Customer value is related to four factors, quality, service, time, cost, okay? Last time I talked to the, uh, in the futures in business administration, the so key word of research or futures research areas, cost and time. Several decades, most of uh, researchers focus on cost. How can we uh, diminish or decrease, make smaller the cost? That means if somebody makes this product by ten bucks, but some expert only five bucks. So it is some uh, delay automation and robotics and computerized or something like that. But nowadays is focused move to time from cost. The time is also money. So somebody takes one hour, one hour. Somebody takes only uh, 30 minutes. It's more excellent success, the productivity. So now there's focus, cost and time, but time is more focused than. So customer value is think about the quality service. Quality. Uh, and then uh, the model of customer satisfaction is uh, a little uh, progress. The first customer expectation is start. So, customers' expectation for oh, I want something, I want some computer, a laptop computer is very uh, uh, high speed and some uh, good uh, uh, function or something like that. The expectation. The customer has the expectation and then proceeds uh, perceived quality, also perceived value, also customer satisfaction. At the same time, the, the customer feels quality, value, satisfaction. And then customer right. Customer right means buy or pay. E buy. Also, customer complaint and then Again, again, again. Again, the root followed. So, first step is customer expectation, the hope, the needs, want, and type. And then the customer think about quality, the value, satisfaction. And then the three concept is automatically complain or reality. Reality means the need. Buy. Complain is not no more buy or exchange the other products. Eh? This is for uh, customer satisfaction model. And the relationship market. So I said it's a relationship marketing. But building the marketing, uh, building, uh, building relationship is that the relationship marketing is duplicated three things, quality, marketing, customer service, okay? So, how do we make the relationship marketing? So, marketing, customer service, quality is duplicated, and then the relationship marketing is satisfied, okay? Okay, let's move to 
chapter 11.2 creating a marketing strategy. Okay, so what is a marketing strategy? Uh, this marketing strategy. Marketing strategy is a process that allows an organization to concentrate its limited resources. We have very limited resources as you know. Right? On the greatest opportunity to increase sales and achieve a sustainable competitive ability. Sustainable competitive advantages, okay? Achieve sustainable competitive advantage and also the uh, uh, greatest opportunities to increase sales, okay? This is for market strategy. So the market strategy refers to business overall game plan for reaching prospective customers and turning them into customers. Turn into mean this she does not sell it, but some customers don't satisfy our product or services. This time you have to turn them in mm, customers. Mm. So how this is a strategy area. Mm. So the market strategy contains the company's value proposition, key brand message data on target customers and other higher values. This is all thing is related to marketing strategy. Thing. Okay, so one of the best examples of marketing strategies, there are many kinds of uh, marketing strategies. So first I briefly uh, comment in the one as content marketing, for example, uh, social media marketing, email marketing e-commerce of Singapore and the referral marketing, event sponsoring, influencer marketing, promotion, opening the funds, etc. Buy on gallery, buy that for the second three, something like that. There are lots of marketing strategies, okay? So just I uh, introduce, follow this chapter, uh, the uh, five piece. Five pieces is product, Oops. price, place, promotion, and people. There are some five pieces. Product, price, place, promotion, people. This is five pieces. Most textbook is follow that is okay. So also this textbook also is what is the marketing strategy. We can uh, explain the marketing strategy through the five piece. Okay. So the five piece first is uh, the five piece of market people, product, price, price, promotion. Okay. So first product. So first product. What is the product? Uh, something offered in exchange and for which marketing action are taken and marketing decision made. Product can be goods such as the smartphone and the notebook, laptop, or something. Or service, for example, the telecommunication and the invisible service. Or idea. I said that yeah, products, goods, and services, and ideas. Just salt, patent, something like this. I agree. So, so all products have both tangible and intangible aspect. Product is tangible. Idea and service is intangible. Okay. And the price, price is not that. Price is something given in exchange for products. Price maybe 
monetary or non-monetary. For example, non-monetary such as uh, waiting a long night for a restaurant or give blood at the local blood bank. You are donating your blood to price. It's a non-monetary. Also, if you uh, visit your bank and then they are waiting time, right? because it's many people is uh, the line of there, right? you waste your time. Time is money. So, but in the market it is non-monetary service. Okay? So in this case, you are lost money for way line. So I said this uh, last time is focus cost, but now it's to say it. It is very uh, good uh, example for time. So in the price, price is uh, maybe two things: uh, monetary or non-monetary, and place, place. Some method of getting the product from the creator or the product to the customer. Place so is related to logistics. Eh? Move. Place includes the. Uh, Myriad of important tasks, such as, like, uh, for example, transportation, location, supply chain management. Supply chain management is a uh, very powerful tool for marketing in logistics. Okay? Online presence, inventory, atmosphere, atmosphere is to office, store, even website, you know, these things. So website is also invisible, invisible place. Eh? Uh, place means it's only you can affect sales person, sales place. But nowadays is you uh, almost half area to be laid with the website. Eh? So website is also include the place. Eh? And next uh, five things is promotion. Promotion is a method of for informing and influencing customers to buy the product. Promotion is to uh, push to buy such a new product eh? to customers. Eh? So buy a product, how to that? Influence, informing, the method is promotion. Promotion includes several different components, eh? as you know, eh? traditional advertising, sales promotion, public relations, Personal selling, social media, e commerce, etc. This is promotion as well. Promotion is often mistaken for market because it is the most visible part of market. However, marketing encompasses much more than just promotion. Okay? So, promotion is very uh, powerful tool, so, but the uh, very Careful to use it the promotion. Anyway, then the last P is people. The method of utilize organization employees to support the marketing strategies of company. This is method of employees. All products have both tangible and intangible aspects. People are crucial to the development of the product's intangible aspect, correct? Because it's a now we'll make the sandwich for hamburgers in the restaurant. So the people, the communities, employees make the uh, hamburgers. And then hamburger is tangible product. But in the processing is intangible, intangible uh, process. So the hamburger Two aspect, tender and tender. Okay. okay, so the people is also very important key function of five piece of marketing. So why is the people is in uh, located in the center? People is very uh, highest value in the five. Piece. People, product, price, promotion, place. It's the five piece marketing. Okay, this is for 
or marketing majors to study a lot. Hmm? Okay. This is five tips. And define the target market. Target market is the, uh, the process of testing a new product among potential users. Target market. Target market. The target market is a group of customers within a business a service server available market with the business aims, it's marketing efforts and resources. So target market is a subject, subset of the total market to the product or service. This target market. Designated market. Okay, a little bit level again. For example, uh, if I uh, uh, have some cross business, but only I make some keys. That is target market. Key is target market. Target. Also, some I am around twenties. 20, around 20 years, uh, something women, so girls, and sometimes it's in suits, shoes on me, socks on me, something like that. This is target marketing. So, uh, let's see, the target market is. Uh, And the uh, next concept is uh, creating, um, creating a competitive advantage. In the business situation, there are lots of competitors, as you know, okay, because it's uh, especially the online market. So uh, before that time, before that time means it's a before computer, well, 1970s and 1980s. We don't have any information or knowledge at the same time. At the same time means a year time. But in the uh, computer is very speed the uh, idea and something to us. And then merge the uh, 1990s, late 1990s, moved the internet service. So computer is very so fast and uh, even if the fast, but this very the service is very narrow area. But Internet development. After internet developed, the computer and the internet is combined. That is a real time concept. So, in the Africa, in North Africa, South Africa, all customers or salesperson or producers knows it the same time through the computer and IT, and internet. So. There are very serious competitive in the market. So, how we creating the competitive advantages? This is a market concept. Okay? 
So customer uh, competitive advantages, what differential competitive advantages, and what niche competitive advantages, and service differentiation competitive advantages. There are lots of uh, kind of uh, competitive advantages. Eh? So problem is the point is that the how we using the competitive advantages in the market setting. So first, I just briefly. Uh, say about the uh, uh, competitive advantages uh, things. So the competitive, basically the competitive advantages refers to factors that allow a company to produce good or poor services, eh? or I guess, eh? better or more cheaply than its libraries. More cheap. First is cheap. But cheap is uh, not solution. All solution, but sometimes cheap or sometimes quality, sometimes is uh, something. Even if it is very expensive car, but we have only uh, uh, even if the uh, some handbag is very expensive, but we have the pocket money. This is for consideration. Cheap is. Basic concept in the competitive advantage that uh, other than uh, libraries. Eh? These factors allow the productivity entity to generate more sales and superior margin compared to its market libraries. You think about this, so we are mentioning the competitive advantage. At the same time, you think about market library. Eh? In the market. Eh? So, competitive advantage is. Is by Porter. Porter is very powerful and some father of strategy. So Porter is started in the strategy in the, uh, from the market. So he suggests competitive advantages explain these things. Okay. So competitive edges, the competitive advance. So they are uh, divide both sets. Left side is a competitive edge, right? The upper side is a competitive advantage. The left side is a lower cost. The right side is differentiation, different thing. And the upper side is a bold target. Right side, uh, below side is a narrow target. So first is cost leadership, differentiation, cost focus, differentiation focus. So quarters is Divide So, for example, cost leadership is related to broad target, wide, wide target, but low cost. This is for cost leadership. Also, the depressed uh, focus means it's very narrow target, but it's differentiation. Don't you think? So, if only this uh, differentiation is related to differentiation, but this target, broad target. So cost focus is a very narrow time. So Porter is, is divided four things uh, through the leadership and cost and differentiation. This is for uh, competitive advantage. Okay. So you don't need to the uh, cost competitive advantage, or difference competition, or service differentiation, or niche competition. Just you heard that. That's it. And then later you are. Study in the market. Okay. Let's move to 11.3 developing and market mix. Market mix is also very powerful tools for marketing. Market mix. The term of marketing means mix is the foundation model of businesses historically centered around the product. Price, place, and promotion. As I said, marketing needs. Right? The marketing needs has been defined as the set of marketing tools that the firm uses to pursue its marketing objectives in the target market. So, also the marketing mix includes multiple areas of focus as part of comprehensive marketing plan. The term often refers to a common classification at the end as a four 
peace. Product price placement promotion. Except people buy. So effective marketing touches on the broad range of areas opposed fixating on the messaging. So marketing needs include the multiple area of focus as part of comprehensive marketing plan, which is marketing mixing. So marketing mix is the brand of a product offering, pricing, promotion, method, distribution system, and strategy for utilizing people that create an offering that brings a specific group of customers superior value, which is marketing needs. Okay? So there are, uh, I introduced the seven P's of marketing. There are five pieces, four kinds of that. So I said that marketing is, if we say this four, product, price, placement, promotion. Also, I want to more introduce to for reference. There are several pieces of marketing. Yes, yeah, so okay. Price, place, people, promotion, process, physical evidence, product. If we say the four piece, product, price, people, promotion. Something like that. It's not important. But anyway, marketing needs is uh, there are about seven kind of that or five kind of uh, method. How do we mix it? The focus is mixed methods okay? for your perspective uh, goals okay? of your company. This is marketing mix. Marketing mix is a very powerful tool for your company uh, strategy. So product strategies, pricing strategies. Sorry. So one by one. The product strategies. Product strategy is a very, oops, very high level plans uh, describing what this business hopes of accomplished uh, product and or with these products and how it plans to do so. This is product strategy. So product strategy defines what new products should achieve and how they supposed the organization. And this brought to life through the product roadmap. The, each company has some roadmap, mm -hmm. product roadmap, okay. step by step. Okay. So product strategy means is uh, brought the, to life, brought to life product life mm -hmm. through the product roadmap. Okay. This is uh, product strategies. Okay. So product strategies is the uh, uh, definition through the uh, textbook is uh, taking the good or service and selecting a brand name, packaging, colors, or warranty, accessories, and service program. This is product strategy. I'll show you the uh, illustration. The product strategy stacks mission. The company have a mission and company strategy. This is for company only. But the product strategies delay the product roadmap. I said that product goals. Product goals is most of them related to quality. And I said color, quality, size, something. They are delayed the product roadmap. So these two things customers, a company objectives, product delivery. So it is delayed product strategies. This plan is how the product will like this part of company strategy. So product strategy is a part of the company. Company strategy is umbrella and then product strategy. The bigger we more studies product strategy and the lower level management is product tactics. So it's a pyramid style. Company strategy, product strategy and product uh, tactics, something like that. Okay. This is product uh, strategy that each company. And uh, the other one is a uh, pricing strategy. <laughs> pricing strategy. Pricing strategy uh, refers to the pro uh, processes, uh, processes and the methodologies businesses used to set price for their product and service. Set prices, product strategy. 
the pricing is how much you charge for your products. And then product pricing strategy is how you determine what the amount should be. This is for price products strategy. Okay? So it's, uh, the business can use a variety of pricing strategies when selling a product or service. Okay? There are many kinds of variety. To determine the most effective price strategy for the company, senior executives need to first identify the company's pricing position. So CEO decides the price, uh, price position and also pricing segment, segment, segment is very hard uh, Pricing capability and their company price. Their so you decide the price and then you think about those competitive strategies and the pricing segmentation and price capability and price position these factors is delayed for final identify the uh, pricing strategies okay so i show you price strategies by illustrating the price strategy Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so it's price strategy. Okay, setting a price uh, based upon the demand for and cost of goods and services. Okay? This is for pricing strategy. Okay, let's move to place, place, place distribution strategy. Same thing. Okay. So what is the distribution? Distribution is a very key word in nowadays. Logistics is a very important uh, uh, area in the marketing. So distribution is one of the four elements of marketing needs. Distribution. Distribution is related to place. So distribution is the process of marketing a product and service uh, available for the customers or business user who needs it. This can be done directly by the producer or service provider or using direct channels, I say this uh, website, eh? with distributors or intermediaries. So, producer, find an end user, we say end user, it's a customer. How to we, um, uh, relate this is distribution? Eh? So, uh, Distribution, uh, distribution uh, place strategy means is creating the means by which products flow from the producer to the customer. As I say, producer, customer, and use will uh, make how to relate. This is a place distribution. So, and uh, Promotion, promotion strategies. The promotion strategy is a method used by companies to advertise, promote, and sell their goods. It's a promotion, as you know. So a company chooses its promotional strategy based on factors like product type, marketing budget, target audience, etc. If you uh, pursue the production, the promotion strategies, you think about this the product type, the marketing budget, target audience, etc. These things is uh, think about this. Uh, if you choose the promotion strategy, an effective pro uh, promotion strategy gets more revenue as compared to the marketing spend. So, uh, for example, if you have some producer of a movie, Movie is the total parts, total industry. So uh, you think about I'm very delighted with that. Is uh, if you know it very oh my god, so yeah, because it's a uh, for example some movies took the money almost one billion dollars. How is that? But most of majority to 40% of market. 
approach market, market crossing, and the charges of interactors and any other things is very small. Most part of the promotion market cost in the uh, movie product very like that. Also, who oh, so many uh, money to spend for charging in the promotion part? Eh? So, <coughs> what is the best promotion strategy? Nobody knows it, but it's, uh, we are definitely to find the uh, best uh, promotion strategy. One of the best promotion techniques is public relationship. The first one is public relationship, which refers to uh, developing a positive brand image in the media. In the media or through the media, it's a way to connect with your target audience, target market by sharing favorable information about your business. So if you have some information and data of your product and services, the promotion strategy is to use how to move your information and analysis and price quality to the customer. This is promotion strategy. The best promotion, uh, one of the best promotion techniques is public relations. Public relations. Because it's a public relations more deep, express the uh, marketing area. As you know, this uh, Facebook marketing, uh, Amazon marketing, is, most of the things public relations. Definitely. So, you know, there is, uh, yeah, it's very good. Uh, very powerful tools, promotion strategy. Somebody has a high school now and then they evaluate the stars. This is good for promotion strategy through the uh, internet. So, this is very powerful promotion strategy. So, I explain again the promotion strategy. Promotion strategy is Okay, two things. One thing is push or push to the market for two, uh, two hours customers. So push is a sales drive. Full means marketing drive. Full is uh, customers uh, roll in. Uh, push is wow. for example, you know, trade shows, you know, sales, point of sale display, you know, demo videos is push. And the pool is to lay the marketing right. It's advertising, email marketing, word of mouth, social media, word of mouth, oh, reputation. Yeah. So the promotion strategy is two things. One thing is full, one thing is push, okay? Push and pull. Okay. okay. And uh, one more product uh, strategy is um, not for profit. Sometimes non-profit, non-profit marketing. So non-profit market, non-profit marketing is uh, so activities and strategies is spread the message of the organization. It is a solicited donation and call for volunteers. So you know the uh, non-profit marketing is very powerful tools for university and some hospital. As you know, they are, uh, most of school is non-profit. This school is also non-profit. So non-profit using the spread, the message of the organization. What's that? Our church foundation. And donate to the very uh, uh, poor country. It's also the solicited Solicit donation or you know, call for volunteers, volunteers. This is for all things related to non profit marketing or not for profit, not for profit marketing. So the goal of non profit marketing is to promote the organization's idea and cause is to get the 
potential or potential volunteers and donate, donors. So, uh, especially in the university, as uh, non-profit, non-profit organization, the most of the university. So, even if there's non-profit, but it make money through the donate or through the invest. So, later if we have a chance to that, I will explain more. Anyway. Uh, the marketing area is very specified area. It's non for non profit marketing or not for profit marketing. Okay, okay. Let's move to buyer behavior. Buyer behavior. Buyer behavior. The customer behavior. Is something. Anyway. The action uh, people take their yeah, buying and using goods and services is a buyer behavior. So customer decision, okay. So cons uh, customer, okay. what is this? Customer decision making process is very important. Customer decision making process. Okay, this one is how customers uh, decide to buy it or take it. First is need recognition. This is very important. Need it. Oh, I'm hungry. Okay, I want some food. Oh, I need some knowledge. Okay, I'll buy some good text. Okay, need recognition first. And then information search. Okay, I'm very hungry. And then Yesterday I ate the hamburger. Today I sandwich. Okay. So it's information search. Search, search, which is expensive or search, which is but cheap or something like that. And then you get some data and you are evaluate. Alternative evaluation. Okay. So hamburger, five dollars. Sandwich, six dollars. And then, okay, today I will buy five, I will buy six, something like that. It's purchase decision. Okay, okay, I will buy sandwich, six. And post purchase, yeah, this is post purchase means next time buy again or not. This is for customer decision making process. Okay, so first, they could search alternatives, decision. And purchase again or not. This is for uh, customer decision making process, okay? And that's the influences of customer decision making. What is the influence factors for uh, customer decision making? Also, uh, this chapter, oh, I'm sorry, okay, I'm missing this one. Uh, this illustrate is to seven steps of effective decision making. To buy it. First, identify the decision. It means it is uh, the recognition thing. And gather information, identify alternatives, assemble, assemble, and weight the evidence. It means it is uh, okay, five dollars, six dollars. Choose some alternatives. I get a five dollars sandwich or I get a six dollars hamburger. And take action. Okay, I buy it. And review your decision. Okay, ah, it's very good choice. Oh, I'm very poor decision. Something like that. This is another process. Because it's a decision making process, it's uh, lots of the, uh, research there. So it, it, it depends the uh, uh, researchers. Okay? Okay, so the uh, influences of uh, customer decision making. What kind of factors influence that? First, is culture, the set of value, ideas, attitudes, and other symbols created to shape human behavior. Culture is a uh, very uh, powerful uh, factors for decision making. And social factors is uh, reference groups, 
means it's formal or informal groups that influence buyer behavior. I asked my friends, I asked my cousin, cousin or my uh, parents, did you put things, did you put impression or something like that? Well, this is a reference group. Right? And individual uh, uh, influences it means it's a personality. Hmm? Personality. Every person is different personality. So a way of organizing and uh, grouping how individuals react to a situation. This is personality. So uh, also psychological influence. Psychologically, you are the uh, uh, other decision making for purchasing. So in this case, for example, consumer decision making influence factors is culture, social factors, or reference group, individual influences, more personality, psychological influence, something like that. These things is related for buyer behavior. Okay? And also uh, uh, B2B purchase decision making. So you heard a lot of B2B or B2C or something. So B2B or the business to business means is a company provides service or products to other business. My business contribute or sell to, uh, to other businesses. This is B2B, business to business. And B2C means is business to consumer. This is the customer. Company sells directly to individual customers. Two separate business models, so the different type of customers, being business and the direct customers. Okay, B two B is to business to business. B two C is directly to the customers. It's business B two B or B two C. Okay, but you know that yeah, this concern is a B two B. Okay. So the decision making process is a little different B2B, B2C. Okay. And let's move it. Oops. Let's move. Uh, market segmentation. This uh, market segmentation is to divide that. The market segmentation means it's the process of separating, identifying, evaluating the layers of market in order to identify target market. Mm -hmm. This is for uh, market segmentation. Market segmentation is very uh, powerful tool for us. Powerful tools market strategies, okay? And then demographic segmentation. Demographic segmentation is uh, the differentiation of market through the use of categories such as age, education level, or gender, income, or household size. This is a demographic segmentation. And the uh, geographic segmentation, the differentiation of market by religion or country, city or countryside, market density, or client, climate. This is geographic segmentation. And the psychological se uh, segmentation, so the differentiation of market by personality or lifestyle. Like this is psychological segmentation. Benefit segmentation, it means the differentiation of markets based on other products will do rather than one customer characteristic. One customer base. Benefit segmentation, it's compared. And the volume segmentation. So the differentiation of market based on the amount of product purchased. This is for volume segmentation. For example, Costco and Walmart. This is a simple uh, example. And uh, also business market segmentation. So the, uh, identify the target markets that may be most profitable for the firm. firm. Marketers use marketing segmentation, which is the process of se uh, separating identifying, evaluating the layers of market to identify target market. So the business market may be segmented by large customers and 
small customers or by geographic area. This is business market segmentation. So segmentation is very widely concept for very useful market stretch area. So segmentation is very uh, wide and deep uh, study in the marketing area. And so this is on the introduction part. So I briefly a kind of segmentation introduce. Okay. Okay. Let's move to what is a product. What is a product? Product means in marketing a good services or item, as I say, among these perceived attribute and benefit create value for the customer. I make it the create or I create value. This is the product. Why? For the customer. What the boss make money. This is product. Okay? Classifying customer products. How can we pro uh, classify the customer's product? Unsought products, convenience products, or shopping products, or specialty products. They are something uh, different uh, uh, products. Eh? So, uh, it's not uh, difficult things. So, it's uh, only I introduced unsought products, convenience products, shopping products. Social, uh, specialty product eh? and classifying the business products as capital products, expense product again. I can't. This is classified business product. Okay, so this is for creating products that deliver value. How we deliver to customers from you. Okay, so this is for uh, steps. steps to the products. I explain this to the illustration. The first is set new products goals, and the next step is develop new products ideas. Develop them. Increase the product or more price, increase the price. Of and screen ideas, concept. And the next step is to develop a concept. And uh, test the market with the new product. And uh, check the reputation in the market to the customer. You need to reduce the product to the market. So this is for new products, how to install in the market. First, set new product goals. I, I want to sell the new sandwich uh, in the market. And then develop new product ideas, develop into the, uh, any idea in the sandwich. And then screen ideas concept. The screen means is get some reputation from your friends and uh, Walmart. And then develop the concept. Okay, is to size is small or size is big or something. Develop that. And test the market for new product. Test it in the small market. And then eventually introduce the product to the market for your products in, in the market. This is for step by step develop a new product to satisfy the uh, customer thing. And what is the product life cycle? As I said, it's life cycle this one. If you make some new product, this first step is introduction, growth, make value, and maturity and decline. This is product life cycle curve. This is time to save value. Introduction and more, more sales volume and maturity and the highest and then decline. Okay. In the meantime, you make another idea for next product. This is stage of the life cycle of the products. Okay. Okay. It's stage of life cycle. Okay. Let's move to uh, pricing strategy and the future trend. This is related to future plans for the, uh, regarding for pricing strategy. Okay. What is the pricing? Let me see. Okay.
Okay. Then it's a price strategy and future trend. So uh, the important part of the marketing plan process is the setting the right price, right prices. Price is the perceived value. Perceived value means the customers get good second price. I said that it's exchanged for something else. Value in our society is most commonly expressed in dollars and cents. There is price is a typically amount of money exchanged for the products. So uh, think about the note perceived value. Perceived value means customers get the value through the product. Separate price of money. This is the price strategy. Okay? So and then finally the customers expected satisfaction. I said, okay. So price pricing objectives. Pricing objectives is uh, uh, price is important as I said in determining how much your firms are earning, the price charge customer times, the number of units, sold equals the gross revenue, and gross revenue. And then divide each one, they make some how much percentage, five dollars, six dollars, seven dollars, something. This is called pricing objective. Eventually, the pricing was the product, the prospective, get the money more. Mm -hmm. But you think about this in market pricing, this is a pricing objective. Thing. And product pricing, product, product pricing is uh, some deep, uh, factors in there. Price skimming, penetration pricing, or reader pricing, or pricing of services, or bundling, all the even pricing, prestige pricing, there are lots of price, product pricing. So if you operate the cost curve, it's bundle. Okay? And well, read the price, oh, I'm very uh, part of the market share. It's a leader of the, the price. Okay, it's increased that for now. Nowadays, it's very highest uh, uh, customer value. See? Indexing. It's very serious. This is uh, another big uh, idea. And the other one is uh, the last chapter is uh, tends to in developing product and price. So in the marketing area, future is trend, future is fashion, impact of the internet and price. As you know, almost 50% by internet. Or some uh, nowadays, uh, uh, November, uh, Friday of uh, November is big uh, uh, Black Friday, or something. So it's uh, which which uh, say method is bigger, online or offline? As you know, the online is more than uh, more than the offline. So there's an impact of the internet marketing and the one-to-one -one marketing. This is some pride uh, climate type <laughs> and creating unique marketing mix for every customer. Marketing database, the big data. You can use the database. Eh? So, big data is very useful and powerful. Your new trend, the developing marketing strategy. So even if you are very small, you are own a sandwich shop or a hamburger shop, any kind of small restaurant, also need uh, using the uh, big data. Okay? Okay, this is marketing. Marketing is very easy concept. Okay, okay so thanks for joining this class and we'll see you next uh, AC class. Okay, take care. Thank you.